Well, hello, Cornell. Uh, good to see you again. It's been uh, a while. It's already 2023. So here we go. How's things? No, doing well yourself, Jack. That's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. So, you know, continuing on from where we ended the last time, uh, you know, the current solutions that we have in the market as far as business challenges and approaches are concerned are very focused on IT, right? With the metrics and data reflecting the same. But how can you make this useful for businesses? Now, the one thing for us to understand is as a collective IT industry, we have spent vast amounts of time building tools such as pipelines, workflows, monitoring and tracing tools. So the idea of these tools and the data that it shows us is common. We understand it, we experience it every single day. Unfortunately, in the IT space, the real value is only starting to become evident and there's still a lot of work and education to be done. However, if you think of it from a business side, which is almost why every IT system exists, they do not have or even rely on the same tools that drive their decision making. Most managers and executives still rely on tools like business intelligence and spreadsheets. And without any of this real-time information or alerts, we can't serve their business needs. They can't even serve their business needs. And the final impact only becomes evident in customer satisfaction business trends, which at the end of the day is you and me as consumers of that, uh, that industry. Although we work in IT, we still customers of other industries, for example, insurance, banking. So since business still relies on spreadsheets, right? I mean, you know, reports and business intelligence, how can observability and tools like Grafana make a difference? Oh, that's a great question. The first thing we have to realize is that we all rely on typically the same data. And that data comes from the same places, which or the same origin, which is our own software solutions. And by keeping this in mind, we can share the information, but still fulfilling separate goals. So to serve business with our data, we first need to understand the business goals and drivers. Then we need to ask about the events and the systems that affect those. And finally, what data do we have from our observability space or metrics or tracing or anything that we have? And how can we surface those into an actionable message that business can consume? or that would drive them to actually react, not just consume. For example, what if there are non-errors that can cause our business objectives to fail, such as a styling change that can render something unavailable, as we've mentioned in the previous uh, session as well? And are there any signals from site reliability or data reliability engineering that can support this business decision making or improve customer experience? And are there any trends that we can, for example, use to reduced surprises to business, making alerts and notifications real time instead of waiting for the next person or status update or monthly update and they say, this is how this month went. What are we gonna do about it? What if they can do this immediately and see there's a problem and maybe change a few things or outcomes for the business? Yep, yep. Imagine running a country like that. How great would that be, right? <laughs> we're in a storm, in New Zealand, we're in a storm right now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, you know, look, you know, that one of the other challenges that most companies have is that, you know, or government departments is that, you know, when you have different teams within IT and business, no matter what it's, you know, the business is, uh, you know, sometimes they're not keen on sharing this information, right? And that could, they have their own reasons, right? Now, could this in your face transparent information not cause concerns within the business? As you've seen in IT, the sharing of information is challenging at first between departments because nobody likes to have the finger pointed at them if something goes wrong. And where the challenge comes in, especially in those spaces, is people see something happening in the space like a small little spike in a trend. And because they don't have the context of why that happened, they often point the finger and say something went wrong and there's the reason. But, you know, so that understanding is a bit of a challenge. But the value of this transparency and sharing data is where it makes sense because we work as a single team and as a single organization. So we should have transparency. Yes, there are spaces where we do not want all of these things to be 100% transparent, which might have legal or you know, other type of impact. But to run the business, that should be transparent across the board. To take this notion as an example, we have to think, would it make a difference if we could notify all the affected parties in organization through dashboards and events? if we have backups or infrastructure changes happening. Would this 
reduce the calls we have to make to say, listen, yeah, what's going on? And when will this be done? And the last point on that is, would it help the teams that's actually doing that work of backups and making network changes? If they could get their work done, rather than having calls to them the whole time that says how far it is, and the systems and observability could actually do the rest. And the same questions from business is, why can my customers not see something? Oh, well, this is happening. They don't have to call to figure that one out and get the wrong message. And speaking of the point of customers being affected, if there is something that's affecting our system, if the system could notify the support personnel to tell them, here's something that's going wrong, this is maybe slow, and they know about the problem, the resolution time, what's the workarounds, before the customer calls, wouldn't that just be better customer service? And at the end of the day, as to our first point, if I'm a customer calling and say, why can't I see your system? And they can tell me there's an outage instead of, I don't know, call back later, that's going to be vastly better. So this would only be possible if there's real-time impact and data available. And this approach would also promote a lot of collaboration and trust, enabling stakeholders to act proactively and potentially help each other. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. That's so true. So, you know, imagine if, uh, you know, if I'm in a, you know, in a leaf right now and you could just give me a, you know, one sentence summary of what you've just said, how would you put it? I believe business needs observability and transparency at this stage more than IT, especially due to the current market challenges we are all facing. In the very least, it would help us to understand the initiatives and be able to support that IT is trying to drive. Often we think as an IT department that why can't we have more support from our stakeholders and have them to buy in because this will add a lot of value. But if they don't understand how this affects their lives and how this initiative we're trying to do is going to enable better delivery for them to serve their customers, how can they support us? Cool. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Thanks, Cornell. Always a pleasure. All right. Thank you so much, Jack. See you in the next session. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. Bye.